What's going on, y'all? Flight Sports TV, man. And then we got breaking news, man. Breaking, breaking news, man. I know some of y'all already knew this was coming. You know, uh, hold on, this ain't, this ain't right. <clears throat> Basically, you know, Fizdale, you know, he just got fired, man. The Knicks just fired David Fizdale, man. New York Knicks, man. Breaking news, man. Let's get right to it, man. Rez got, it went down. I'm going to put the video like this. Maybe this might be a little better for me. Yeah, man, it's, it's a trip out here, man. Y'all get in the comments section. Let's talk, man. You know, the Knicks done did it, man. They done made a move, man. Serious breaking news here, man. New York Knicks fans, we in the building. New York City, we here. We got a real Knicks fan here, not just somebody riding the bandwagon. It's crazy. You know, before we before we um touch on some, some every all the all the glitz and glamour and details, I want everybody to hit that like button and most definitely hit that subscribe button. Okay, remember you don't want to miss the Flight Sports TV exclusive. Underrated is an understatement. Episode seven and eight drops tonight. Tonight before the game at ten o'clock. I believe it's ten thirty. Blazers Lakers seven and eight episodes will be out. Before the game tonight, before Mellow come on. So um definitely subscribe. Donate. All donations are appreciated, okay? All donations. Um I want everybody to um get at me. Um so yeah, man, the Knicks, man. We all knew this was coming. I'm sitting here eating, like I said, it's breaking news. I got I got some macaroni and cheese here, some wings, you know, some mozzarella sticks. So like I said, man. I'm going to bring the breaking news, man. You knew this was happening. You know, somebody would have to pay the price, man, even though it's not even his fault. You know, some guys is always the fall guys, not even his fault. You know, I I don't like how, how everything popped off. You know, because he's going to be looked at like, like it's his fault. But what what can you do? You know, they didn't get the free agents. You know, they basically sent this guy out to die. You know, if you really want to get technical... Like I said, from a real New York Knicks standpoint, these other people just talking. You feel me? I, I'm I got, I'm a, I got New York Knicks in my blood. You hear me? They 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 jerked him because they was tanking the whole. They basically fired him in twenty games. Technically, technically, he got fired in twenty games. Fizdale last year they was tanking for Zion. They was trying to lose. They knew that that was a throwaway year. Last year was a throwaway year. You understand? You feel me? So basically, they was cool with losing like that. They was happy because all they wanted was Zion Williamson, okay? That's all they was trying to get. So basically, they you, in New York Knicks fashion, we don't get Zion. We don't get the, the free agents. We don't get nobody. Every, every shit that, that, that was said we were supposed to get, we didn't get nothing. We got jerked again. You understand? I'm sorry, I'm just getting pissed off because this is a this is always happening with the Knicks, man. It was like, didn't they just fire Hornacek? Now we firing Fizz now. Dolan, Scott, well, Dolan and um Mills, Steve Mills is cool. You feel me? Which is which is all good, but I mean, no, that's like a family dynamic. You know, the, they those two dudes is like it's on another level. It's not just friends. You know, they like family. You feel me? So, don't expect Steve Mills to be the first one out the door. Scott Perry, he'll be gone. He'll be gone before Mills. Trust me. He, if this shit keep continuing, Scott Perry is asses out the door. They gonna go one by one. They giving them a lifeline. They, uh, Dolan is giving um, Steve Mills and Scott Perry a lifeline. Farming. They giving them a lifeline. With this, with this move, because they, because because um, ownership could have just cleaned house, you know, they could have just came and cleaned house on everybody. The way shit was moving, they 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 traded Porzingis for nobody. So I can't believe Fizdale basically Fizdale basically is the fall guy for this, you know. Didn't give him a proper roster last year. They was tanking. It don't last year don't count. Okay, Chris Stapps was hurt. Chris Snacks was hurt. You feel me? Chris Snacks was hurt. So they was throwing the season away anyway. They knew what they knew what the hell was happening. Last year was cool. Now this year they expected after no free agents, no Zion, 
just to flip the switch with Julius Randle, Alfred Payton, Wayne Ellington, old ass Taj Gibson, Bobby Porter's inconsistent ass. I mean, what the hell did you expect? Dennis Smith Jr. is a bust. We got fleeced. The Knicks was fleeced in that Dallas trade. We got completely jerked. Nigga, everybody got to get fired for that. Pardon me, man. I'm sorry. I, this shit is real with the Knicks, man. Everybody need to get up out of there for that. They fired. They 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 traded Porzingis. He was. They could have saved him for another year. They didn't have to trade him. They could have turned things around. So they trade Porzingis for nothing. The only thing that could save that trade is the draft pick. Or that in New York Knicks fashion, we're gonna screw it up. The New York Knicks, we need a trade. We're gonna get into the, the candidates who need to come up next in a second. And there's only two. Okay? There's only two. Uh, everybody ain't cut out for this job. This job ain't like other jobs when the coach get fired and you got six, seven names ready for candidacy. No, nah, th no, hell no. Nah. Everybody can't take this job. You feel me? There's only two coaches that, that, there's only two people that can get this job, and that's it. But before I get into those names, we need, we need to, we need, the New York Knicks need to make a trade, man. We need a young, we need a young focal point. We need a young focal point, okay? The Knicks need to try to get a young player who could be a focal point. Not so much a superstar, but a young focal point. Now, I don't know who the hell that could be. A young go-to scorer. That's what the Knicks need. The Knicks need a young go-to scorer. How the hell are they going to get that? I don't know. But we got... We can't give up that, that draft pick this year because we're just going downhill. We can't trade on our pick, Okay. So I'm pretty sure that pick can get us whoever the hell we want. Because it could possibly be a top five pick. You know, but the Knicks need a young go-to scorer. That's all I'm going to say. Now, get in the comment section. Let me know some of those names. You know, I can't see Phoenix giving up Devin Booker. You know, but we need something like that. A young go-to scorer. You know, we need a young player we, or we could just who can grow. It, it don't got to be too young, but it could be somewhere in the middle. You know? He had five five years in the league. You know, some some people that can grow with this these guys, but lead these guys at the same time. Get in the comment section. Let me know some of those names. That's why I'm going with because we need a young go to scorer. Because that's what we lack. We lack in a go to scorer. Period. These guys ain't cutting it out. Like in my last video, they need to come off some of these guys. People get on Fizdale because Fizdale had people bringing the ball up the court. Big guys like Randall Morris. David Fisdale run a positionless basketball offense. You understand? So the problem was they didn't have the pieces to run his offense. Every coach, they get pieces to run the offense and defense they needed. Okay? Look down the list at the league. Every coach got players that fit that style. Fit that style of play. But the Knicks, I don't know what the hell is going on. I'm telling you, man. They better get it right. They better get the shit right this time. Because this shit is too... This is this is serious shit. This shit ain't a joke, man. It's the Knicks, and they, this is every... This is like every day. There's something tragic happening. It ain't his fault, and it ain't Fisdale's fault. This shit is bigger than David Fisdale, okay? This shit is bigger than Scott Perry. This shit is bigger than Steve Mills. This shit is serious. We ain't even gonna get into all that on this video. That We're gonna say that for next video, okay? But we need to talk about the candidates. Like I said, there's only two names you wanna hear. And they both work at ESPN on commentary, okay? Y'all get my drift where I'm going with this. Mark Jackson. That needs to be the number one option we go for. If not Mark Jackson, 
It better be uh Stan Van Steve Van um Van Gundy, Jeff Van Gundy, pardon me. You know they're the brothers. Jeff Van Gundy, Mark Jackson. That's it. That's the only names that can take this job. Because like I said before, this job is not for everybody. There's, there's not an open open candidacy, open interview. Everybody should not even be interviewed. They should only be interviewing two people. And if they want to take the job, they got the job. You can't screw this up because this, this move is on their ass. I told y'all in my last video, before Steve, uh, Steve, Steve Mills get fired, they were going to fire Fisdale. Before Steve Mills and Scott Perry get fired, Fisdale ass was out the door. And they hired him. When they could have got Mark Jackson. There's a lot of politics in the game. Mark Jackson is the own Mark Jackson, Jeff Van Gundy. I don't want to hear shit else. Shit else. They better not even, I don't want to hear nothing. But you know, in New York Knicks fashion, we're going to be hearing some no name we ain't never heard. I'm waiting for them to say they, they looking at a coach from college. But I'm serious. Like, that. this is New York Knicks for you. I'm telling you, the only two names they need to get is Mark Jackson and Jeff Van Gundy. Period. Watch we hear a name from college or somebody that we ain't never heard before. And this is why everybody about to get fired. I'm telling you, if they don't get this shit right, they're all fired at the end of the season. Okay? They're all going. Even Mills. Mills might be relocated. Okay? But Mills won't be in that position no more. Okay? Um, dude is going to come down from up, upstairs and clean house. Booking. So, man, let's break it news, man. New York Knicks, man. We They finally made a move, and it was to fire the coach. In typical New York Knicks fashion, the coach is the one to blame. So, the Knicks, we on another coach. As usual, this ain't nothing new for us. You know, but I tell all my real New York Knicks fans, our day is coming soon. We the most loyalist fans in the NBA. All these fans jumping ship, blowing woods, um, jumping from wood to wood to these teams. Knicks fans, we ride or die. The loyalist fans in the game, selling the building out every night, tuning into the games when we shouldn't, when we need to boycott the games. Shout out to Knicks Nation, man. Hit that subscribe button. Just breaking news. Fisdale fired from the New York Knicks. It's going to be a long weekend, y'all. Be on the lookout for me tonight, man. I'm bringing stupid content tonight. Stupid. Heavy. I'm going. We're getting aggressive tonight. Mellow come on tonight. It's a party. It's a movie. What we eating tonight for Mellow tonight? Mellow, LeBron. I'm thinking about ordering the pizza tonight, boy. I'm thinking about getting them wings tonight, man. I should get the cheese bread to go with it. Talk to me. What, we, what should I do? Should I get some soul food or should I get the pizza for Mellow Night? Talk to me. It's Friday and it's Mellow Night. It ain't his fault. It ain't Fisdale's fault. Hit that donation button, man. The link will be in the description box below this video. Hit, a, hit up the um the merchandise store, pexoticshop.com. All that's coming out. All that'll be out shortly. I got the pictures already. The website is under construction as we speak. I'm looking to break news tonight. On the website, be on the lookout for the Flight Sports TV exclusive. Underrated is an understatement. We up to six episodes. Episodes seven and eight will be out tonight. Before the game, come on tonight for Melo LeBron. Seven and eight of Underrated is an understatement will be out tonight. Don't miss it. Hit that subscribe button right now. It's Flight Sports TV. We bringing the content to the people, man. Get at me, man.